Hello everybody and welcome again to our daily Hizuk. I want to just share with you an unbelievable story that I heard one time from a great rabbi, Rabbi Ezreal Tauber, Zecher Sadiq Lebrachai, passed away I believe this year. Great, great, great man who actually survived the Holocaust and started an organization uh, where he gave over Torah and Jewish thought, just a fantastic person. And I was thinking about him today because as we're going through the difficulties we're going through, could you imagine what they went through during the Holocaust? Seven years of war, seven years, leaving everything you have, having nothing, losing family members. This is nothing compared to what they went through. And yet so many of them fought back and rebuilt. And it just, it's just a testament to our people. But he said something so phenomenal one time that stuck with me. And I want to share it with you. He spoke about a unbelievable boy who was probably the top boy in yeshiva. He was 19 years old. Then he turned 20, 21. Everybody wanted a shidduch with this boy. He was smart, brilliant, beautiful family. And he found a beautiful, beautiful girl. And he was going to get married. And they were going to support him to become a big rabbi, Bezat Hashem, one day. And his parents went to Rabbi Tauber and told him, listen, you know, we adopted this baby and we never told him. And the truth of the matter is, at age 13, you're supposed to tell an adopted uh, child that he's Jewish and he can make a decision whether he wants to stay Jewish or not. Do we have to even ask him, they asked Rabbi Tauber? I mean, he's the top boy, he's the Tamil Chacham, he's it's unbelievable. He goes, no, you need to. It's the law and you got to do what the law is. So they brought him into the room and they said, look, um, you were adopted. And we just wanted to tell you that. We're sorry we didn't tell you till now. But, you know, you have a right to decide what you want to do. But obviously, you know, you're top of the line. You're uh, going to stick with Judaism. That's nothing to talk about. And he looked at him. He said, was I a Jewish baby? And they said, no. He said, um, I'll see you later. Took off his kippah. Took off the tzitzit. And he was gone. Because I'm not interested in this. And Rabbi Tauber was so bothered. How could it be a boy grows up in this in the Jewish educational system, is the top boy in yeshiva and is learning and growing and how could it be? And it goes back to what we said yesterday. That a person could do all the mitzvot. But if you don't internalize it into who you are and stop and think Everything I'm doing is connected to my closeness to Hashem. Whatever situation I'm in, every beracha that I say, every tefillah that I recite, every thought that I have, every smile that I give, this smile is a reflection of Hashem's presence in the world. It's a selim elokim. That's what I'm here for. And if I don't put that all together, and I missed everything. It's not part of who I am. So the hezuk is, this is such a great time to work on this. We have time. Enjoy the day. Enjoy every mitzvah. Get to the depth of what a mitzvah means. And if anybody wants to call, text me, 917-805-5444. Baruch Hashem, I'm, it's the busiest time of my life. Between classes and going, and it's the happiest time of my life. If anybody wants has a question about a mitzvah, why do we do it, what's the deeper understanding, I'd be more than happy to be here for anybody. Have a wonderful day.